Good morning, Quadcopter 101. What I got for you today is a review of the Wakira Rodeo 110. Now, this is a, another rodeo version from Wakira. This was only a, a tiny little 110 version. Um, tiny little thing. I think this might be able to be a park flyer. In fact, it's it should be small enough and light enough that you can take it to a park. But what I hear is it actually has a lot of performance in it. Now, this particular quadcopter again comes with tri blades. It's brushless, of course. Uh, these are Wakira brand motors and ESC, so there's not really much technical specs available on the power of these motors or these ESCs. You know how many amps they take per ESC. Um, it does come with a little 450 milliamp hour 2S battery, or is that an 850? Hold on, folks, I forgot. <laughs> we'll open it up and pull out the battery and see what we got here. But it is. 850 milliamp per hour 2S battery. Now, there are other batteries that are similar to this that come with red JST connectors. In particular, I have some 3S batteries that are similar to this that were, uh, I believe, from my Ishin 130. And I did plug it into this quadcopter, but I, what I'm hearing is those uh, 3S batteries tend to overheat these ESCs. They, they start to get quite warm. So I would recommend sticking with a 2S battery vice a 3S battery on this particular quadcopter. Um, other things about it, um, you can configure it. Um, it comes with uh, Betaflight 0.3.3 installed. I do not recommend upgrading that though to a, a different version of Betaflight um, because you probably will have problems being that this is a Wakira bird. They tend to be kind of proprietary in how you up upgrade to things in this. So, uh, but you can uh, configure the pit settings and such uh, via this port right here, uh, micro USB port. Um, additionally, underneath the battery is access to the um, FPV transmitter. Now, this, the FPV transmitter in this version that I got is 200 milliwatt and 600 milliwatt selectable, 40 channels. Now, you, in, when it's set to 200 milliwatt low power, um, you only have bands B, which is only eight, or eight channels that you'll be able to select. But if you go to high power setting by holding up, there's a little, po a little uh, push button right beside the channel switches, you can select um, um, 600 milliwatt. And by doing such, you can select bands A, B, C, D, I believe E on this uh, for the other 40 channels. And again, if you hold that button down for 40 seconds, you also get 600 milliwatt power out of this. And that's why I got it set up to 600 milliwatt power. This is your FPV antenna sticking out the center. And you two, you have two diversity receiver antennas for the receiver on this particular quadcopter. Uh, the camera on this is a little 600 TVL, I believe. Let me double check that. I got it written down on the back of my transmitter. Uh, yes, 600 TVL camera. Um, it is not the best camera. Uh, FPV camera in the world, but it's usable and we're going to try to demonstrate that today what it looks like uh, while flying I'll be recording the video uh, via my DVR goggles so um, it I got the ready to fly version it comes with the Devo 7 now the Devo 7 is your basic uh, D Dimension uh, Wakira transmitter uh, you cannot flash this to uh, deviation software because there is no micro USB port behind this little hole in the back here. No USB port. So this cannot be flashed to uh, deviation software. So um, it's they're one of their bottom of the line transmitters from Wakira, but it's usable. And we're going to use it with this particular quadcopter. So let's go for a flight and see how the little Wakira rodeo performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we are going to first fly this in <clears throat> angle mode and then I'm going to switch to acro. I have the switches set up, so up is acro, center is horizon, and bottom is acro. And we're going to start the motors. Oh, wait. Let's see. Okay, starting the motors is down to the left. I'm sorry, folks. And we'll go up a bit, try it first in angle mode just to see how it performs. Got a bit of a wind from my right here. I was just trying the Ishin Falcon 120, which is a little bandit. <laughs> but yeah, this one's much tamer than the, the 120. <laughs> I'll give you that. I feel better. Let's give a punch. Okay. I feel better about this now. I'm going to go into acro here, folks. It's, it's a smooth flyer. So we're going to give it a try in acro. So I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Let's bring it in close so you can see it first. And going back into the wind, and bringing it over here, and its its camera is a little bit up high, for my preference. But 
Hopefully that won't be a problem. We'll find out here. And we're going to take it up here shortly in Acro. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Okay, on. Okay, let's give it a try in Acro. Uh, as I learned before, I'm going to be sitting. <laughs> I don't do Acro standing anymore since I almost fell over. <laughs> okay, selecting Acro and arming the motors. And away we go. Again, I got 200 milliwatts uh, set up in this. Yeah, this is a nice smooth flyer. Nice gentle flyer in Acro. Good for new flyers that are learning Acro. Actually, I like this one. Nice and smooth. With its, you know, its settings right out of the box, it's nice and smooth. Let's give it a little more pitch, see if we get a little more speed on it. But yeah, it's a nice smooth flyer in Acro. Not twitchy at all. Very gentle. I got a little bit of a breeze I'm fighting today. Let's get a little closer to the ground into the bushes. Let's rush the bushes. I'm gonna rush through the bushes. <laughs> Go again. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> the wind is hitting it a bit, bobbing it around on me. Go up the road. Yeah, the 600 milliwatts gives it plenty of power on the transmitter. You can see it real good. Come down this road. So, it's a nice flyer. Good beginner's acro quadcopter, I gotta say. You know, nice little acro flyer. Uh, not, I don't mean beginner flyer. I mean intermediate flyers that are uh, trying to enter the acro like me. <laughs> I'm new into acro myself, so. But it's working well. Nice and easy. And we can pick it up here. I gotta get a little closer, just because that thing is so tidy. I know, but it's not showing up on the camera. Hold on, folks. Bring it down lower, lower, lower. There it is. Hey, by the way, how do you like my new car? <laughs> I still got the element, but I got rid of the CRV. Uh, the CRV was having big problems, folks. Uh, and I needed something bigger and better. So I, that's a Sienna. <laughs> got all wheel drive, though. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Pay attention. Yeah, I, I got to bump up that camera a little bit higher on this one, especially when I'm flying it. Okay, there goes our beeper. So we're going to bring it in for a landing, folks. Turning around to get it into the wind a bit. Here's my landing pad. It's over here somewhere. Let's see how close I can get the landing pad today. A more. A little bit okay. more, a little bit more. A little more. bit more coming. Uh, no, no. I'm out of bed. Oh. That's it. <laughs> okay, locking it. So, that's the first flight of the Rodeo 110. Nice little quadcopter. Nice and gentle flyer uh, for acro. Um, I guess you can adjust the pit settings to get, make it more snappy, but again, right out of the box, there goes its beeper. I like beepers on quadcopters. Especially out here when one of them crashes out here, it makes it easier to find and also lets you know when you got a low battery. Let's feel how those ESCs feel. They are cool to the touch. So maybe, I don't know folks, maybe it could handle a bigger battery. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to try it today. <laughs> so that's a Wakira Rodeo 110. Nice little quadcopter. Nice uh, intro to uh, FPV and uh, Acro. Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.